funny, I do feel like explaining the smoking because I'm quitting, I've talked to people, you know. I'm not taking those pills now, I'm smoking very few cigarettes, but it's sort of a trigger thing. It's like, oh, I'm smoking a cigarette, what am I doing? I'm gonna smoke my, one of my three cigarettes, my four cigarettes today, I might as well make a video at the same time. But, it's not representative of my day. <laughs> So we went over to the Grand Canyon and saw that's such an amazing view. I mean, obviously you can see a beautiful picture of it and go, wow, that's amazing. But that's like 10 miles across you're looking and a mile down and it's just all like 240 degrees wrapped around you. And you know, with your peripheral, it's coming in, it's just in every direction and it's so deep and the things they have go out and jut out into it and you're looking right down. Oh, that's awesome. So we ended up going over there, I was thinking, We'd go tomorrow. Now I'm thinking we won't stay an extra day here. We'll still beeline it down to Nogales and go into Nogales just so we can say, you know, so my stepson can go to Mexico and we'll buy some some dishes and pottery, some colorful pottery and, and lovely, lovely, lovely Mexican blankets and craftsmanship. I just love the Mexican culture. It's one of my favorite. I mean, they have a great kind of food made of the most reasonably priced and easy to handle ingredients ever and they they uh they i don't know there's just something about that culture it's it's hard working and yet they work hard on good lifestyle things you know like like having a nice yard and stuff and and uh, orange juice they love fresh squeezed orange juice and i bought a uh taco from a I think racists always complain about the Mexican taco vans. I have never, ever, ever not had an awesome plate of tacos from every taco van. I, we got one in, I think it was in Barstow, uh, just next to the gas station. I'm like, this is going to be great. It's a, it's a taco van. What more do you have to say? And sure enough, it was fucking awesome. I love Mexican food. So we're just in this hotel here at the, you know, I keep forgetting the name of this town. Tenison or something. It's just right outside of the park. The park's up there a couple miles. Went up to the visitor center and looked at the south rim part. Pretty impressive. I was thinking of staying an extra night, but I don't think we need to. I think we'll get recharged. We're back at the hotel. We're going to just use the pool and the internet. I got some stuff to take care of. I've got some crazy ass paperwork and a lawyer that I've got to talk to and stuff. But uh, well, that's all going well. I'm going to use the internet for that. We're going to recharge because, like I said, I got here at 3 o'clock in the morning, local time. And so. Uh, then we'll wake up early and we'll go to the park. We'll take, you know, a couple mi mile walk along the rim, I guess, with the with the dog. The dog's allowed in the park. Dog in a park. How how hedonistic. Do hotel dog. And uh, and then we'll drive down to Nogales, maybe stay somewhere around there. And then I'm into it. I, I can do a 14-hour drive, no problem. And I'll just drive to Austin where we have family. So, you know, what else? I heard that uh, Michael Dunn guy had a hung jury of some sort. Yeah, Jesus Christ, America. What are you, fucking crazy? Hold on. Hold on. Look at that sky, man. There's not a cloud in it right above me over there. There's plenty of clouds all over. Um, so what else? That's pretty much it. Yeah, we used the internet on the freeway on Highway 5 yesterday, and it was like internet at home. We had an iPad and a, and a laptop on, and I'm driving, and they're both like internet at home pretty much. But not all freeways are like that. But uh, on the other hand, it used a whole gig in one day. that cost like $15 with Verizon. But I get two gigs that I never use on my phone, so I haven't hit that part. And I get an extra two gigs for 10 bucks. I hate consumer electronics and shopping for that. That went fairly smoothly considering, I mean, my iPhone was four years old because I just don't like dealing with, you know, cell phone people. But uh, it's definitely worth it because this iPhone hotspot, and, and it, I, I was all ready to buy a, like a Wi-Fi modem and get a contract for a two-year thing. 
Oh, there's my lovely wife. Wave. All right. Don't be jealous. 